Welcome back, everybody. Continuing with chapter six notes on forces. We have talked about uh, the weight force, the normal forces, um, the apparent weight, even friction forces. Now we're to um, a force called tension. And just because this is a different kind of force doesn't mean we treat it any differently. It just um, it's just a different type of force. Um, first of all, tension is the actual name of the force. All right. Strings are what it is being applied through. Strings or ropes or chains or whatever. Um, but the assumption is that when we talk about strings and stuff, it's thought to be kind of a very small, uh, very small mass. Uh, when you get to talking about chains and things like that, the, the mass of the chain gets involved. We're going to assume that the strings are very, very small and have virtually no mass at all. All right. Well, tension is very much like what we call the contact force. All right, let me make sure, let me get, make sure I get the right uh, color here. Um, you might recall in previous parts of this uh, of this chapter, it's not a very it's not a very flat surface right there. Sorry, you may re recall in previous parts of this chapter that um, we had problems where if you applied a force to one box, both boxes would move, and the question was why was that? Well, most people would just say, well, because the one box is causing the other box to move. But right, but that's right, but more accurately, there is a contact force, force from, we'll call this box one and box two, cause for, for force from box one to two, and there was also a contact force, force from box two to one acting backwards on it. This surface right here, that surface, was the surface along which that force was applied that really caused box two to move. Box one is applying a force to box two, and box two is applying kind of a resisting force back to, back to box one, <coughs> so that the whole system will move. Well, we can think of tension the same way. Tension, and I'm already using the wrong color. Let's erase that. Tension, let's go back to blue again. Um, Let's pretend we have a similar scenario, okay? But we have two boxes here, but they're not touching each other. Tension, I'm going to draw this in green. Tension is the force, very much like the contact force, that exists in between those two boxes. Um, tension can only pull. Um, you ever try to push a rope? Not very easy, all right? It can only pull, whereas... Um, Contact forces can push. Um, actually, they can't pull, right? Because if you were to try to pull this box away, it's not going to drag the other box with it. So contact forces can really only push. Tension can only pull right here. So let's say you have these two boxes here. They were attached with a, this string, this green string. All right. If you applied a, f a force to this first box, the whole two-box system would move. <coughs> Why? Because there's a tension force in the string. It acts two ways. It acts that way, and it acts that way. I'm just going to call that force acting both directions T, but you can think of this as being tension from, oh, I forgot to label my boxes again. We'll call this box one and box two. We'll call this tension from box one to box two, and we'll call this guy here tension from box two to box one, but it's all the same thing. It's very much like a contact force. Instead of being pushing, however, it's pulling. And the other difference is that tension in strings can be redirected around corners. For example, let's say you're on a cliff right here, all right, and your friend, you're helping your friend mountain climb, all right, and they're attached to you by way of a string or a rope, all right. Now that rope could go over the edge right there, but that isn't very efficient. I think more efficient would be to have a pulley right there. All right, if you're trying to pull your friend up the cliff by way of that rope, here's the rope going around the pulley, okay, and into your hands right there. You're applying a tension, A space tension, sorry, uh, to pull that person. Um, and so, actually, you're applying a, a two-way tension in that part of the rope, which is creating a two-way tension in this part of the rope right here. Basically, you are, you're redirecting your horizontal force around a corner, and so it's acting vertically on your friend right there. 
So depending on what the mass and weight, weight of your friend are, and depending on how fast you're going to be pulling that person up, that will determine what the tension of the rope um, has to be. So this is all just conceptual for the idea of tension. Um, in a separate video, I'm going to go to the next slide, which uh, actually I'll go to it. Um, actually, no, I won't. <laughs> um, the next slide deals with a thing called a traction device. Um, and that'll be a separate video where we actually apply the, the, the concept of tension, that is forces in a string that can be bent around corners. We're going to apply that, uh, that concept to keeping something in, in equilibrium. If you're familiar with a traction device, it, it applies a force to you if, you if you broke your arm or your leg. All right, so that's going to be the, uh, a separate video. But this is tension, very much like a contact force, but instead of a pushing force, it's a pulling force. So I'll see you in the next video where, where we apply this to the concept of the traction device. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.